Howdy, welcome back to the shop. Well, I finally broke the carbide off of one of my Chineseum uh, insert or brazed carbide tools. And I've got lots of these triangle. I can't even remember what the number is or part is on these. But I've got plenty of these that I've chipped the corners off. And that uh, Stephen or Stefan Grotzwinter feller, he's real good about resharpening these. I'm not. I can kind of make them cut, but they they don't cut right. Hey, so just for an experiment, we're going to try to uh, do a little bit of soldering here. Now I'm using Radnor Stay Silve. This stuff is the uh, white uh, brazing flux. It's for silver soldering. Um, and this stuff is only like five bucks a bottle. It's really cheap. And uh, I'm going to use 15% uh, uh, hard solder. And now this stuff is, uh, this is what I use for welding, uh, heating and air stuff. You know, line sets and stuff for uh, air conditioners, heat pumps, things of that nature. This is 15% silver. And it's only, uh, it's usually about 100, less than $100 a pound. Now that's my cost. Your cost may vary. Uh, because, you know, I'm heating and air guy. So let's see what we can get done here. Now I've cut off a couple of little bitty pieces and I'm just going to drop them down the screw hole. And I'm going to try not to knock this whole thing off in the floor while I'm playing with it. Okay, I'm going to back the camera up. You've seen kind of how I've got this set up here. I'm going to back up the camera, get it out of my way, and commence to doing something. All right, I'm just using a little double lot torch, or a double lot tip in my torch, and uh, we'll see what we can do here. Good, it slid. Does seem to be flowing very well. Sticking good, flowing out good. I think we got a winner. What do you think, Lodgy? Well, you think it'll work? Yep. All right, let's let her cool off. Because if it cools down. 
down too high, it breaks. Yep, it's cool. if we cool it down too fast, it may crack that carbide. Well, it looks like my uh, little experiment's okay so far. Uh, it did try to, I've got a lot of cutting angle on the top of here. It's, I kind of see that. Anyway, the, the piece of carbide was trying to slide off down, down the hill there. So I'm going to go clean this up on the grinder. That's just flux right there. I'm going to go clean this up on the grinder and uh, we'll stick it in the lathe, see if it'll cut something or break or whatever. Well, there we go, for better or worse. That's what it uh, looks like coming off the grinder. It didn't fall off while I was trying to grind it, so we're going to see if it'll cut. Not worthy of stuff on Gottswinter or Robin Renzetti or even this old Tony, but I used what I had laying around. Okay, we've got a piece of mystery metal in here. I think this is zinc. This may be aluminum, but the chips coming off of it sure don't look very aluminum y. If it's if it is some kind of aluminum, it's a gross kind of aluminum. Give her a 20,000 step of cut. Pretty sad looking surface finish, but with the amount of stick out I've got here, it's it's not a real rigid setup. Let's try a little cold rolled steel. This piece of three eighths cold rolled rod. about uh, about 400 rpm Okay, let's give her uh, give her twenty thousand steps of cut. survived cold rolled steel uh, I haven't chipped it yet uh, surface finish is terrible even for cold rolled uh, let's try a piece of hot rolled I think I've got some laying out
try 20,000 steps of cut. Pretty horrible. Uh, that was 400 RPM at uh, 60 or six thousandths, seven thousandths per revolution uh, feed. Okay, a little bit of cutting oil helped it. I do not have any uh, radius ground into this, and that was a ten thousandths depth of cut. Eh. Not terrible, terrible. Okay, this is a piece of ROTA. Uh, that stands for rusty old truck axles. And this stuff is, I have annealed this, but it's still, it is pretty hard stuff. That, that drag file just barely cuts that. Let's see what it does on this. Start off at about 10,000 steps of cut. Wow. That's not bad for for this machine and and everything else. Let's give her another ten. <laughs> Not, not horrible. Now I'm going to put up a uh, 20,000 step of cut. About 300 RPM. <laughs> Woo, Stucker! Like sucker butts and I. It stuck it. Didn't break the didn't break the carbide though. Nux? Cool. High five and a knuckles. 
And high five, too. Does not like 20 thou depth of cut on that stuff. <laughs> Well, you know, I think if I put a radius on that and slowed the feed rate down just a little bit, I think it'd have a much nicer surface, surface finish. But what I was mainly experimenting to find is how bad the heat would affect that piece of carbide and whether or not that 15% uh, silver solder would hold that carbide down. And you know, the silver solder seems to have worked marvelous, marvelously. And uh, you know, that, that uh, stay silk uh, flux, like I said, it's like four or five dollars for that big old jar of it. So it's dirt cheap, and the 15% stick silver is, uh, or 15% silver stick is, uh, like I said, it's under, for me anyway, it's under $100 a pound. I think the list price on it is about $150. So it, it's reasonably cheap. You know, McMaster's got the, uh, the soft silver solder, and it's, it's definitely over $100 a pound. So, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Y'all drive safe. And watch for deer. And watch for deer. <laughs>